Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. This video will cover downloading the tentacle installer, installing the tentacle on Windows, and configuring the tentacle in listening mode. You can download the tentacle installer from octopus.com by navigating to the downloads page under the resources menu. Find the tentacle in the list of tools and click on the download button. The download page will provide a few options to you. If you use Chocolaty to manage your software installs, you can install the tentacle with the command provided on the page. You can also download the installer directly. Once it's been downloaded, run the installer to start the setup wizard. Accept the license agreement and provide the install directory to install the tentacle. Once the tentacle is installed, the tentacle manager will open. Click the Get Started button to start configuring your first tentacle. The first choice is whether to use a listening or polling tentacle. A listening tentacle will passively listen for tasks to perform from your Octopus server. This is the recommended communication style if you can allow connections from the Octopus server to the tentacle. If the Octopus server cannot send requests to the tentacle, you should consider using polling mode instead. You can watch a video on configuring a polling tentacle on Windows by clicking the annotation that just appeared in the top right corner of the video. Next, set where the tentacle will store logs and applications. On the Listening Tentacle tab, you can choose what port the tentacle will listen for commands on. You can use the default port of 10933 or provide a custom port. You also need to provide the Octopus thumbprint. This is the certificate thumbprint of your Octopus server and ensures that the tentacle will only accept communication from a server providing that thumbprint. You can find your server's thumbprint in the Octopus Manager or on the Listening Tentacle Setup page in the Infrastructure section. The last step is to install. You can use the Show Script link to view the commands that the Tentacle Manager will run. This is useful for automating the tentacle setup in your infrastructure. Click the Install button when you're ready, and you'll see the output of the commands in the text area below the button. Once the install is complete, you can click the Finish button and start using your tentacle. Note that the tentacle also has a thumbprint that needs to be provided to the Octopus server when the tentacle is registered. Here are some tips for installing and configuring a listening tentacle. Choose a listening tentacle if your Octopus server can send requests to the machine hosting the tentacle. For large-scale installations, you can automate the tentacle installation with a package manager like Chocolaty and the tentacle command line interface. Manage upgrades of your tentacles directly from the Octopus web portal. Thanks for watching this getting started video and happy deployments.